I'm talking with Cindy Bennett in the Do It booth. Cindy, what is this all about? So Do It is an acronym that stands for Disability, Opportunity, Internet Working, and Technology. And we're an office within the IT unit at the University of Washington. And we do a couple of things. Um, so just in summary, we manage several grants, a lot of them from the National Science Foundation, which support students with disabilities pursuing STEM, so science, technology, engineering, and math careers. Um, and the other thing we do is we publish a lot of literature to help teachers know how to infuse universal design considerations into their curriculum so helping to make mainstream curriculum more accessible for students with disabilities oh that's that's fantastic uh, one of the ways I found CSUN was actually through some uh, guy who's a professor at uh, uh, oh Santa Monica City College okay. where they've really done some great work at, at infusing uh, helping the scientists and engineers in school to understand how to infuse the technologies at the at the upfront end and right. that's the real key right right exactly so if we can if we can encourage encourage um, teachers to have some universal design considerations considerations in their curriculum then you know ideally we can have less of a need for you know specialized programs for people with disabilities ideally they could just register for the course and take it um, as is yeah that makes a lot of sense I think about that also in the development of products too is that you don't want to have like a separate program a separate group that does security mm -hmm. or a separate group that does accessibility right, right, no yeah. you, you it needs to be the underlying security and, and accessibility you need to be the underlying principle in everything you build yeah. it's like saying okay we'll add ethics to the company later right. no. no yeah no and I, and I really consider accessibility an ethical consideration right and we teach students just thinking about computer science right we teach students how to uh, about ethics and about how to code well so that people can understand your code at the very beginning and I think that's exactly where accessibility um, should be fitting in so yeah I agree with that so this is specific to the University of Washington is that correct oh no, our programs are far-reaching so we um, we work for the University of Washington but we have programs that anyone all over the US can take advantage of okay and this is let's see it's uh, on Twitter it's do it UW uh, D O I T U W and now uh, we've got a QR code here maybe Steve you can zoom in on that so people will get a screenshot of that for the show notes people would uh, check that out and I would just encourage um, any student with disability um, who is even thinking about pursuing science or engineering to get in touch with us we provide mentors with disabilities for Washington students we have a summer scholars program where high school students with disabilities can live on campus for a few weeks and learn about college life and advocacy um, our NSF grants can support conference travel and internships for college students with disabilities so I mean I'm here because of one of the grants um, being a disabled engineer myself so I really can't say enough good things about what we do and, and there's support financial and mentorship available people just need to get in touch with us that summer thing sounds like a party yeah it's it, I you know I wasn't a high school student in Washington I wish I was because I mean to be able to have that exposure to not only other students with disabilities professionals with disabilities but also just that exposure to get used to campus life and learn a little bit more about what it's like to be in college and how to advocate yeah, absolutely. Okay, so this sounds good. So this is, what about the, how would somebody find the national, if they're not going to Washington or going to be in Washington? Right. Um, so uh, everything can be found through our website. We have several programs. And so if you're not from Washington, um, you might think about, we have grants called Access Computing for people pursuing computing careers and Access Engineering for people pursuing all other types of engineering careers. And there'll be links on our website to information about how you can sign up for a listserv. And then um, once you kind of get involved in the listserv, you can hear about uh, other program opportunities and how to get financial assistance. Well, thank you very much yeah, and we appreciate yeah. you taking the time. Yeah, thank you.